Welcome, welcome. We are at Alpha Yankee Romeo Tango in Papua New Guinea, and uh, we're going to continue our Neofly career. Uh, we're by the uh, Chambry Lake. I'm not going to pronounce the, the name of the town that we're in. I'm going to embarrass myself throughout this adventure in Papua New Guinea and other places in Europe and other... Uh, I'm not going to get in the habit of pronouncing the the towns and cities. I'll embarrass myself. So we're flying the X-Cub and uh, I want to go through kind of where I left off the last video uh, to where we're at now and then um, what this adventure is going to look like. So uh, let's jump to Neofly. So we are here at Chambre Lake and uh, we came in from, we started at Weewak and so I'm, I'm looking at doing a stacked mission myself but I plan on buying an aircraft that's at this location specifically the, the NX Cub. I want a, a nose wheel X Cub. Uh, I really like those personally so I want to add that to the fleet and uh, one of the comments on the last video uh, which I sincerely appreciate was that you know go out and get a loan in finance and just do it that way yeah you could do it that way um, I just prefer not to I don't even I didn't even pay attention to it when um, when it was added to Neofly a long time ago um, I think I've maybe done it one time just to experiment with it, but I don't do it in my personal life. I prefer just not to have any loans or anything like that. So I want to build this slow. So we're going to. So my goal is to have uh, a fleet of aircraft, the smaller aircraft like the X Cubs, 172s, um, and I can build, build some wealth that way. And then when I go to move up to the caravan, I can sell the fleet. Because if I just save up the 1.3 million for the caravan now, I won't have any money to do any trading with it. I'll be back to zero. I'll just be flying a caravan. And uh, really the, the benefit of having the caravan is that you can pack it full of expensive goods and the return on investment is unreal. So the plan is to, to have multiple aircraft, sell those, and then I can use that money to buy... Uh, goods in the trader missions with the new caravan or one thing I have found out is that uh, I added uh, the PC6 the Pilatus Porter PC6 to it and they're less than a million dollars I think I saw it for like six hundred thousand dollars I may start out with a Pilatus first uh, just because of, of how cheap they are in the market uh, and then move up to the caravan because uh, I ultimately I love the I love the caravan it's a great flying airframe uh, it is faster than the Pilatus, so that is definitely a benefit. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. But that's the plan for right now. So I'm going to purchase this NX Cub. And I'm going to send it on a trader mission. So let's see... What's up here? Alright, not bad. And in that way, while we're flying... Whoa, hello. While we're flying um, these other missions, we can be checking in with this one and manage it and um, be multitasking during, the, uh, during, this, uh, during this flight. Okay, so it looks like that's our airport. Um, that's an outstanding deal. Uh, and you notice uh, I had about $100,000 more than when I ended the last video. What I did is I sent the X-Cub back to here, AYSR, for a trader mission, and then back here. So um, I was able to sell some more caviar and basically finish out how much caviar this airport was was buying so um, so that's the reason and the difference of the the money all right so um, do we have a pilot nope 
So I come and search for skills. And not bad wages, so we'll go with Yoda. All right. So that's all the money I have. And we're going to send. Let's make sure. Yep, HFD. The send pilot to this. Oop, I loaded in the wrong one. So then I put it in the warehouse and load it into the aircraft. Okay, there we go. Now I can send it. Cove Crafters, Yoda. All right, so that's sent. That'll be going while we're going. Okay, so now that that plane is uh, en route, we're going to plan our mission. And so we're going to stack these missions to the north and um, and wind up at the same airport as that uh, that aircraft. So, so how I do it is uh, click on the icon, brings it up in the missions. So I sort the, the distance. That way they're all stacked together. That way if there's multiple ones in an airport, they'll show up. They'll have multiple in, uh, with the destination uh, aircraft airport. So, um, so then you just right click and stack. And you can see it should be over here. There's something going on. That's frustrating. Okay, so I had to restart NeoFly. I was having some issues with the stack missions, um, so I'm hoping it'll work this time. Uh, as you can see, the NX Cub is uh, is in route, and uh, so let's set up our mission. Okay, so go to all. Uh, Passengers one, and then distance uh, we'll do 150. One. All right. So yeah, the missions I was trying to do are now not available. All right, let's try this. Okay, so I want to stack some missions because uh, I don't have any money to do trading. Uh, you can see I only got two hundred seventy-seven dollars up here. So, um, so how that's done is I click on. You can either click on the icon, not the yellow uh, dot, but the icon below it, and it pulls you to the mission tab. And then I sort mine for distance. That way I can see any common airports if it has multiple missions to each one, like this one. See so if I click on it. It's got two to AYWV. And so I can stack those together, hopefully. So that's the plan, is I want to stack these three together. It should be uh, within my weight and balance to be able to do that. So... Um, Okay, so I want to right click, stack. And it's there. Great. Okay. And then come over here, click on the icon, get the 2 to AYWV, right click, stack. And it's not there. Great. Let's try this. And right click, stack. And it's not there. I don't know what's going on. Right click. Stack. Okay. It stacked that. 
So I guess we're flying to here and then here. So okay, frustrating, but part of it. Okay, so we got uh, 504 pounds. So you pick whichever mission you're starting with and you hit fly this mission. Connect and fly. And I need 674 pounds of weight. Transporter from dispatch. It's a okay. cargo mission today. When you check the payload and the flight plan, please release your parking brake to start. Transporter form dispatch. Loading cargo. Please stand by. Clear prop. Thousand RPMs, alternator, avionics, strobes already on, nav, landing light pulse, lean on the ground. Transporter, cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. All right, field elevation is 60 feet per windy. Curious if I just hit B, how close that is. Two nine or seven eight. Okay. Not bad. All right. So I need to set up the pack up. All right. They match. Okay. We are going to Alpha Uniform Juliet. Let's see if it's in the database. Yep. And that location and direction matches. All right. So it is 19 miles away. I definitely do not want to go up to 10,000 feet. Twenty-five hundred VS of 1,200 or a thousand, I should say. I'm pretty heavy. Well, 800 to be safe. That way I can cruise climb. Then we're going to do heading. going on here. All right. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Fuel is good. All right. The wind is predicted to be favored in this direction, so um, that is purely a guess in this area. There's no windsock out here, so uh, typically I would have some 
something to show that uh, you know some way of reference you can look at the the water you'd fill it I mean you know the realistic way to do it but whatever all right so I just got the bell that uh, the pilot landed so once we get airborne and get the autopilot going and comfortable then we'll go check that and uh, see if we can maybe make another mission since uh, it took me a while to get this one squared away all right so mixture rich that looks good that looks good everything's in the correct position I'm gonna do one notch of flaps let's go flying nope hold on all green lights and neo fly here we go I always check that now. I've forgotten one too many times, and I don't want to have to circle the patch just to uh, land again to restart it. Transporter, good flight. Flaps coming up. Pilots on. Use the nav button to get me back on center line. I don't see much fog out here, so just scattered clouds, which is very typical area. Luckily no rain or storms. Alright, so the field elevation for the airport we're going to is 50 feet. Cruise, 21 inches of manifold pressure, 
2400 on the RPM. Looks good. I'll set the heading just heading bug just in case we lose nav. I can switch the heading and sort out the issue with the GPS. That looks good. So let's go check out Neofly. Okay. All right. So HFD. HFD. Sell it. Money, money, money. So let's look at some options here. Okay, so let's look at much there. Look at the island. Just to see if we stay close to home, what the, does that what the, does that do what does that do? And as you can see it's a lot of times just pure luck. So I wonder might do the same thing. I don't know why I didn't think about this. So I think we were selling cell phones and they still have 726 left to buy. So I can preview the market for where I was just at. And yeah, so let's let's send it back here. Hopefully we can make some money on the deadhead trip back. Yep, seven thousand dollars. And Then we can make that same uh, hundred and some thousand dollars again. So. All right. See ya. So we are nine miles out, needing to descend. So we'll back the manifold pressure back some and start to descend down to a thousand feet. So the airport is on that river. We can see dead ahead. So it'll be right in there is the location of it. So this could be easy to find. Winds are dead ahead, right off the nose. So the airport orientation is pretty much directly into the wind, so I'm just going to have a straight in final. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the altitude down further. And we'll have to get slower, quicker, because we're not going to be running a pattern. Uh, and I have a 70 knot. Um, flap speed for this aircraft so uh, so straight ends are not the hardest but they're not the easiest either you can utilize the pattern to slow your stuff down really easily so uh, just means we need to get down further and we need to get down faster uh, in order to uh, be able to bleed airspeed at the last minute
This is going to be a one-way airstrip, it looks like, with uh, that wonderful hill on the back side. So if I do a go-around, it's going to have to be in, in the footprint of the river so I can turn left to get out of here. Mixture rich, prop full in. And we'll keep the fuel on that tank for now since it was a short flight. Alright, 700 feet. So once we level off, we'll lose a few more knots and that'll get us close to 70. So I'm going to go ahead and get the autopilot away and follow the river. easily lose this airspeed. Alright, so I can see the town right there. The question will be... I think the airstrip... And I may just have to do a go-around just to... because I'm not familiar with the airstrip. Looks like the airstrip is cut in right there. So that's what I'm assuming. Alright, let's go ahead and get a notch of flaps in. Get stabilized. I need some up trim. So I'm going to delay going full flaps because doing a go around with full flaps in this is, is the best word is probably lethargic. Um, so I'm going to keep minimal amount of flaps in and then dump them at the last minute because I don't, it's not a short runway and I'm, I'm not concerned about making it. Uh, I'm more concerned about finding the airstrip and then making sure that, that that's the correct uh, landing location. So. So I think this is it here. If it is, full flaps, drop in. There it is. Yeah, that's it. Full flaps. Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. Go to the next parking and put your parking brake on. I'll be in touch. Alright. Not bad. Beautiful airport. It looks like some of the freeware scenery that's in this area. I've downloaded a bunch, so it's kind of random. I don't remember where all I uh, got them at. So looks like there's some people out here. All right, thousand RPMs. Parking brakes Transporter brake from dispatch. Okay, nice job. Someone is coming to take the cargo. I'll call you when it's done. All right, so... So that would 
be landing about eight minutes. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so now we wait for that to be unloaded and then we can fly this mission. And I don't know if it's just longer loading and unloading times now or if it gets stuck. But I've noticed that it's a lot longer than what it used to be. So that's why you heard the ding. I just took the parking brake off, reset it, thinking that maybe that may do something. Transporter, another cargo mission well done. Thanks and see you soon. Okay, cool. Alright, so I was just moved up to second officer. Yeehaw. Alright, so go got bonuses and 64 vertical speed um, on that. So right click, fly the mission. Hello, transporter. You cargo is waiting for you at the parking. So now we're going to A Y W N. Loading cargo. Please stand by. So I can pull out 444 pounds. Transporter, cargo is loaded. You can start your mission. Yeah, okay. All green lights, we're good. So now we're going to AYWN. Distance and direction of flight looks correct. Same cruising altitude, same particle speed. Go ahead and get the heading bugs set up. All right. Everything looks good. Looks like they're working on a uh, project of some sort. Staring at a mound of dirt. there so you don't go and park in the housing area. There you go, no one notch of flaps.
All right, mixture rich, props full in. We'll go ahead and switch tanks. All right, I think we're ready to roll. Full throttle. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe. Flaps up. See ya. It's a nice airport. It looks very muddy most of the time. Obviously that's not shown or simulated very well in, in Microsoft, but uh, I can imagine that is a very soggy airport to get in and out of. Alright, so it's very nose wants to the nose wants to rise a lot, so uh, nose down trim now. They're going to be going on course, heading soon. Pull the prop back a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go. So about the time that we get the cruise altitude, we'll hear the ding and go manage the uh, the NX Cub, who would be returning back at EYRT at the Lake Airport. There we go. So let me just get stabilized here. We'll switch over. Wind, four knots. It's not much. So coming up on 2500. Got 19 miles to go. We're still VFR, still VFR. is a manifold pressure 2400 on the prop RPM looks good no fuel leaks alright so Marketplace. 
sell. Compare. So yeah, that's buying all of the ones there. So let's see if the bug is still there to where you can sell more cargo. So let's buy the whole, everything that they have. We'll send it back to WeWAC after this. Get fuel there. Because realistically there wouldn't be fuel out in the bush like this. So, No would there be caviar and other stuff. I know. I get it. We've got about 13 miles to go. Alright, so we got about 11 miles to go. The field elevation is uh, 274 feet. So we are going to go down to the 1,000 foot again. Setting up the approach. We'll start that in a couple miles. Alright, seven and a half miles out. Let's start our descent. So I don't want to get low trying to find this aircraft, or this airport, um, because it is in the middle of the woods. So if you're going to an unfamiliar airport, you've heard me say it before in past videos, but um, in case you haven't, 
stay high. You can always um, descend down the pattern altitude outside of the pattern uh, later, but it's so much easier to find an airport at altitude. Um, so I'm going to drop down to no less than a thousand feet going in here and that should allow me to be able to find it because um, trust me e even coming back into the grass airport that I fly out of uh, I just remember so many times coming back in if, if the sun's in our eyes if it's dark whatever and especially if we're coming in because uh, we have an angle of the airport that you there's trees right up to the hangars and you just don't see the airport at pattern altitude until you're less than five miles away and um, so it's difficult it's a lot easier nowadays with GPS you just fly the magenta line but uh, used to it uh, flying VFR it was challenging for sure uh, or I guess just not just VFR before the GPS days the the lower end days uh, and just flying dead reckoning. Uh, it was very difficult to find our way back home sometimes. Alright, so we're two miles out. Should be overflying the airport in a minute. And I don't think this is cheating using this view because your visibility and your ability to move around in the air in the cockpit to be able to see down and around is so much easier in real life than in the sim. Um, I could adjust the view to, to come over here, but I then I'd had to adjust it back, so just uh, use the views that are available to me. Alright, so the wind is from the left. So most likely I'll overfly. Okay, I see the airport. So, what I want to probably do is circle around and come around on downwind. Not a, technically a published pattern entry, but we're in Papua New Guinea. So, let me get this view set up. Alright, so, mixture rich, prop full in. This is the other thing not to do, is not to lose the airport like I'm doing now. Alright. Is in. Five hundred. Five hundred. I see it. Hopefully that's it. Otherwise we'll be going around. Full flaps. Speed looks good. 
I'm a little high, but I'm alright. Trim set. What? Transporter from dispatch. Nice landing. We have lost go radio to the next and radar contact with transponder. I'll be in touch. Rescue to his last position. I'm sorry, but I did not hit that tree. That is why so many times I fly with crash off. I should have had replay on so I could have seen that. Oh, that's frustrating. That is frustrating. That's like the bridge accident that I had. Where I was coming. You know, on that video, I was... Uh, very stunned, just like I am right now. Okay. Well, we just lost our X Cub. And all we have is the NX Cub. I just don't think I was that close. It'd be interesting for me to rewatch the video and see if I uh, if I messed up or if if it, if I truly uh didn't didn't hit a tree at all, but okay. Um, let's see. We got about we got a few minutes, so I'll skip ahead in the video, and we will manage that aircraft once it lands. The X Cub, sell that cargo, send us on on its way to Wewak, and that's where we were, where we will pick up the next mission in this. Uh, Wonderful career that uh, I've already lost an aircraft, so. All right. So, search the market. Sell. Sell. Yep, still not fixed. Great. <laughs> That's a uh, easy cheat to sell more product so uh, all right so let's see let's see if we can make any money to get back to Wewak and we can all right so I will not show the conclusion of this on the video, but you can see I'm just making a few thousand dollars uh, getting it back to Wewak, where I will pick up the next mission. Okay, so admittedly I don't have replay set up. Um, I've had some issues testing that to where it crashes the desktop, um, and I haven't perfected it yet, so I did not have it running. But I went back to the airport, set the cub, and now I have it in uh, pause. And this is the same view. If you go back and compare it frame by frame, altitude and everything is the, is the same. And even if I'm off by a few feet. I don't know which tree I hit. So. That is frustrating. That is definitely frustrating. But. It's not a bad sim overall. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those naysayers. I I love this this sim, uh, but stuff like that's a little frustrating. So uh, so yeah, that's part of it. Okay, well thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it overall. And uh, check out my my page for other videos like this. I uh, hope you follow the series, the playlist for this. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos to come. Uh, obviously, there's gonna be the new 
some new airframes because uh, we just lost the X Cub, so we had to reclaim that through some uh, us utilizing the NX Cub now um, to generate our income. So it's going to be a long journey, but stick around. I'll see you next time.